And right now, we need your help with the question of the night. How many more seasons does Mike D'Antoni have left coaching the Rockets? Is it one, two, three or more or none? Hit up khou.com slash vote now or that khou11 mobile app and you can play along as well. And while you're voting, listen, it's time for us to start talking. I'm heading over here with Daniel Gotera, Matt Musil, hey. and Rich Lord from Sports Radio hey, 610. Pleasure, awesome. guys. Good to be here again. All right. All right. So here's the question. How many seasons does Dan Tony have left, Rich? I'm going to go none. Whoa. I think what uh, Tillman Fertitta has done since the end of their playoff run is an indication that he wants to make a change. He just doesn't want to pay the four and a half million it's going to take to make that change. When you gut a guy's coaching staff, when you lowball and insist on incentivizing a coach of D'Antoni's stature, you don't want him around. Mm. I say three, at least. Okay. Uh, because I'm an optimist. <laughs> and talking with Mike, he hasn't lost one bit of sleep over this. It's still a lot of money. Yes, I think he's underpaid compared to other top NBA coaches. And consider what everything Mike has done for this franchise. I think he should be paid, but that's not the deal. And here's the thing. Tillman's a good businessman. Hopefully he's right about this, but I think he's here for three seasons at least. I'm going to go one. Uh, Tillman's the type of guy that I feel like would get a, a coach in waiting type situation. You know, Mike D'Antoni, he's not happy with the fact that he couldn't give him the contract that he wanted. Well, let's bring in a younger guy. Hey, this is the guy that we're going to groom to be the next coach. I say one more year. I don't think Mike stays around. All right, I'll take two just okay. for the reason <laughs> that all you guys have mentioned. Why not? Listen, I mean, I think he's going to get one year. I think they're going to do well, get him another year, and after that, who knows, but we shall see. All right, lots of drama so far this offseason. So give me the movie title which best <laughs> describes the state of the Rockets. Rich, the I'm title. going with Apocalypse Now. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to stay consistent here with how I feel about the way Tillman's <laughs> handling this situation. He's called in the airstrike, okay? I mean, this is inevitable. I really feel that way. I don't think you treat a coach like D'Antoni the way he's treated him uh, without wanting to make some major changes, and they've already hinted on possible changes to the roster as well. Okay, I'm not going to go that way, <laughs> but there is a new movie in theaters called Booksmart. And I'm going to go Booksmart because all of these guys are smart. Maury's smart. Tilma Fertitta is smart. Mike D'Antoni is brilliant as a coach. And that movie is about some high school kids who put their nose to the grindstone the whole time, studied all the time to get ahead, and then they realize the last day before school ended, I've blown my whole teenage years, and let's go party down the final night. It, it could be book smart. This could be that that season. I hope not. Well, thanks for giving away the plot. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to go actually with No Country for Old Men huh? here um, oh, because boy. they're always trying to outsmart the bad guy, right? The bad guy are the Golden State Warriors. They're never going to outsmart him. If you remember that movie, which was an excellent movie, yes, unlike this Rocket situation, which is... <laughs> really bad. But anyway, they're trying to outsmart the bad guy. They can never do it. They're, they're always a step ahead. The Warriors will always be always be a step ahead. And How about Groundhog Day? Lose to the Warriors, lose to the Warriors, yeah. lose to the Warriors, and then you've got can't a little drama. Yeah, yeah, you can't get over the hurdle, and then the story changes a little bit. But <laughs> listen, the offseason is starting, and who knows what's in store for these Houston Rockets.